and give some short talk. Uh, it's not uh, actually a real uh, scientific lecture or um, lecture about some achievements, yeah, but some thoughts how we can uh, cooperate and um, how we can go together because uh, one of the main tasks and ideas of events like uh, this one, like FABA meeting, uh, is uh, to bring people together and help them uh, to find the ways for cooperation and uh, do business or science or whatsoever together. And uh, in a few minutes I'll just uh, talk uh, on the basis of the history of uh, Indo-Russian relations, yeah, what we can do, where, what was in past and what could be in future. And I'll uh, give this talk uh, together with my colleague, uh, Mr. Vyacheslav Trubnikov, former uh, Russian ambassador in India and now chairman of Trusty Board of Russian Bioindustry Association. So uh, I'll touch two uh, points, very briefly history and uh, what is now. Uh, as you know, in 1947, when India got independence, it didn't have any uh, pharmaceutical industry at all in this country. And it was a very serious task to build up this industry. And no one wanted to give any technology, any assistance and help, and only Russia uh, came at that time. And the uh, uh, Soviet Union, at that time at Russia, uh, built up in India more than 40 large factories, including antibiotic factory in Rishikesh, factory for synthetic pharmaceutical chemicals in Hyderabad, surgical instruments factory in Madras, and a number of others. And uh, uh, you could see in, in the bottom uh, some figures uh, how drastically it changed. So today, most of these factories, uh, at least in this uh, particular pharma area, they have been replaced, or they're not uh, acting anymore. Although in uh, other areas, such as metallurgy uh, or other uh, heavy industry, it uh, continues. But uh, those factories, those plants, which has been built up at that time, they laid out the basis for uh, emerging Indian own pharmaceutical industry, which came nowadays as one of the most advanced. Today's situation is absolutely different, and uh, you could see dynamics of global biotech market, how it looks like today. Mm, and uh, uh, Russia, unfortunately, after uh, 20 years of reforms, lost all its uh, major uh, global positions in global biotech market, where it has been sharing together with the United States. And uh, if we'll compare the figures, plus two, uh, you could see that uh, India and Russia here, they're quite close. But you could see that the uh, dynamic of development of uh, biotech market in India is much more efficient and faster than nowadays in Russia. And if we'll compare uh, uh, figures or these sector diagrams, yeah, already in 2008, uh, Indian biotech market um, exceeded uh, became bigger than Russian biotech market. Although, if you see the major sectors, yeah, it's uh, very similar. The major part is biopharma. Uh, another one, another one, it's uh, agriculture in both countries, and a quite tiny one, it's uh, industry. Bioindustry. Nevertheless. Uh, if we'll uh, see uh, how all, uh, let's say, major directions of biotechnology uh, market in India is developing among these five directions, by pharmaceuticals, by services, by agri, by industry, by informatics, two of them are mainly oriented for export, it's by services and by informatics, and three others, they're oriented both for domestic and uh, external markets. And especially these three areas, they could be considered as a basis for or areas of Indo-Russian biotech cooperation nowadays. And where we are, if we'll speak about these three areas, how we can cooperate, I'll uh, focus mainly on biopharma issues, yeah, and just uh, briefly touch agri-bio and bio-industry. And I want to mention here that uh, although, of course, I am focusing here in my <coughs> talk 
on in the Russian cooperation, but uh, this can be enlarged also including other FABA countries because Russia and India has quite close cooperation with all those countries. So it can be related and everyone is uh, invited to come here. So concerning biopharma. First of all, look uh, the world trends in development of uh, pharma market and the health industry in principle. Now it moves on direction as also in previous uh, presentation has been mentioned uh, to creation entirely new type of innovative medicine, innovative model of medicine which is based on so-called 4P medicine, preventive, prophylactic, personalized and participatory. And uh, in order to accomplish this um, demands of this new medicine, uh, this type of products which would be necessary to develop. It's vaccines, therapeutics, biotherapeutics, diagnostics, and uh, cell technologies. How looks like world pharmaceutical market uh, now? So you could see that, uh, of course, uh, the biggest uh, place is the United States, it's Europe, it's Japan as a country. Uh, this figure shows uh, figure not India, it's whole Asia yeah? and Russia. It's not the biggest one, but you could mention that um, this market appeared actually increased three times during the last five years. And in order to move it further, Russia has adopted just last year a new program for development of pharma industry, according to which uh, in coming 10 years, this Russian pharma market should increase about four times, up to 60 billion USD. And, uh, the, this, uh, uh, this opens actually uh, quite big uh, options also for biopharmaceuticals. According to world trends, uh, biopharma composes about 12 to 13 percent from whole uh, pharma market. It's uh, the same in Russia and worldwide. In 10 years, this proportion would increase up to 30 percent. But. If we look for Russian biopharma market nowadays, and here in this diagram you could see uh, 12, 11 uh, blockbusters, so-called the most uh, sell products, you could see that uh, only in two cases uh, the uh, demand, local demand is covered by domestic production. All the others are imported products. And uh, uh, the program which has been approved now in Russia uh, to develop its own uh, pharmaceutical industry in order to meet demands of new innovative medicine which is going on worldwide and also in Russia. Uh, the strategy is that uh, to increase domestic production up to 50 percent, so you could see in comparison 2000, uh, 2010, and also increase substantially the part of innovative products from this portion to this portion. In order to do so, to achieve this goal, uh, some big work has been done in order to create infrastructure, setting up of NASI, uh, financing instruments, venture funds, state corporations, and uh, creation of seed funds, and creating a special legal regulation, which will uh, 